Good day everyone, this is Alvin again from the Philippines and today we are going to talk about my top 20 best swimsuit performance during the Miss Grand International 2019. So for, for those who are new to Miss Grand International, the winner of the Best in Swimsuit competition will win the Best in Swimsuit award during the finals, but this performance doesn't guarantee anything on the results or on the first cut because of course the basis will be the preliminary competition which will be held in a very few days and this is again as they have said this is just for a special award and based on what I've witnessed last night I know many are aggravated because the live stream did not show some countries like India South Africa and Russia and other countries as well who I think did very very well and good thing is that they have released a new video where everything is complete so I was able to review all the performances again and selected my personal top 20 and here they are starting with my number 20 Australia Taylor Marlene she's got a very beautiful face and I love her energy during this performance her body also looked great however I am not really a huge fan of her walk her arms look dead to me when she was walking. I think it could be better with some polishing. Plus, I think she is walking a little bit too fast as well. My number 19 is Netherlands. Margareta de Jong, stunning face, beautiful body, and her walk is also decent, especially in the first half. But as she continues all the way until the end, I am craving for that energy which I am not really feeling in the last half of her performance. My number 18 is Costa Rica, Brenda Castro. Costa Rica is growing on me as time goes by. I like her body and her fun energy during her performance. I am not sure about the waving of the hands though it doesn't work for me. I like the way she ended it with those poses which features her beautiful figure. My number 17 is Myanmar, Hemway Thet. Myanmar looks amazing. Loved her hairstyle, loved her smiling face and her confidence in giving this performance. Myanmar's body is also one of the best and her walk, amazing. However, even if her performance is great, I did not get any wow moment to it. My number 16 is Paraguay, Milena Rodriguez. She's another surprise of the day. Her walk was in the, one of the best and that hair twisting in the intro, I love that. Her face was also beautiful and great body. My number 15 is Ecuador. She's one of my favorites at this round of the competition. I love the add-on of flower on her hair. It made her look refreshing and very summery. Her walk is also one of the strongest, except for the part where she lost some balance and good thing she didn't fall and it would be terrible. But I think she needs to work on that, especially in the balancing after you do the turn. That's really important. And hopefully she will come to the competition, especially in the preliminaries, with a much, much better balance and performance. My number 14 is India, Shivani Jadav. India, I am happy for this performance because I think she did well too. Her turns are great, her face is beautiful, her styling is perfect. I guess the only thing that I would love to see is to add some more energy on her performance. I would love to see some more impactful walk and some swaying of the hips as well. My number 13 is Malaysia. Mel De Quain. love the dramatic entrance that she is bringing to this competition. This is by far her best look that I have ever seen. I really love how she was styled from face to her hair and I love how it bounced and swayed as she walks. Plus, I am loving the gold accessory in her, on her arm. I think it's a great, great decision. Her walk was also good and her figure looks amazing. My number 12 is Dominican Republic. Estefani Bustamante, great styling, beautiful face, and great choice of hairstyle as well. I think the ponytail worked perfectly on her and it made her look very, very beautiful. To be honest, I just noticed that once you do the swimsuit competition, I think ponytail could be the perfect hairstyle because as you walk, I love the effect of it swaying, 
and it made you look fiercely amazing with ponytail which is why i really adored her performance i also love how her skin glowed at that round her walk is also one of the strongest and for the swing of the hips there's a part of me that says it's a little bit too much but there's a part as well where i am actually loving it so i'm just in the middle because of that my number 11 is peru camila escribens that huge flipping or shall i say throwing of hair in the intro was beautiful she's also giving us a great walk and her performance is just, just oozing with sex appeal however i am not really a fan of the super pouty lips i think it's a little bit much there's also a tremendous amount of hair flipping in her performance but for her body and face beautiful so i just wish she would minimize those pouty lips and too much hair flipping because especially we have seen that many times with last year's Miss Universe Venezuela Estefani Gutierrez and she actually made I mean it was it became famous because of her so hopefully she'll try to I mean it's okay to do that let's just minimize it my number 10 is Russia Kamila Kosainova I know Russia is a stunning woman but I did not really expect her to be this stunning during this round and what's even amazing is that she did not disappoint her performance is both bordering confidence but at the same time maintaining that class loved her body in la her last post as well my number nine is Czech Republic Maria Boychenko she looks stunning at this round and her styling is perfect honestly i did not expect her to do this well i love her smile from the time she started doing her first turn i was surprised in a good way her body is also good and although her walk isn't perfect but it was a decent performance and much much better than the others my number eight is mexico maria malo for some reason when she was called and made a turn she kind of resembles Miss Universe 2005 Natalie Glebova from Canada in some ways. I love her face at this round. Her walk is also good and I love how tall she looked from a distance. When she made the turn and gave a fierce face, I really love that. Confidence at its highest peak for sure. My number seven is Puerto Rico, Hazel Ortiz. Puerto Rico just gave a high caliber performance at this round it isn't too much and she's giving a performance that make us love her even more she's got a very beautiful face and very fun vibe and personality definitely and her fun personality i mean definitely came out at that round great turn strong walk beautiful body and beautiful face my number six is south africa belinda schroeder this is definitely the biggest surprise of the day remember when i was commenting before that her walk and confidence are the things she really needs to work on based on her previous participations now at this time she came out looking so so beautiful and her styling and the way she looks is just satisfying to me love her small laugh before she started walking and i love her energy as well there's also a tremendous improvement in the way she walked in fact hers is one of the best and her body my goodness beautiful and for my top five i truly believe that one of them could win the best in swimsuit award so let's talk about my top five number five is vietnam nguyen ha kyu lon vietnam my goodness i did not expect her to bring so much fire and hotness in this round her face is very beautiful and whoever did her face makeup did an extremely good job her walk was so good and she was confident and the swing of her hips was just perfect i am not a fan of her arms racing at her final pose though but nevertheless vietnam is definitely to watch out in this competition my number four is brazil marjorie marcel brazil what a beautiful beautiful face as expected i am not sure about the red earrings i don't hate it but i don't like it that much her body wow definitely one of the best and her abs are really showing up 
Her walk was very, very good. I really love her confidence in delivering this performance. And that turn plus the final pose, perfection. My number three is Thailand. Araiha Suparork. Thailand definitely lit some fire at this competition. Beautiful face, beautiful body, and her confidence is so over the roof. Aside from that, who wouldn't notice the triple turn? I mean, seriously, three times? Talking about outstanding exhibition. She just, she just showed everyone that she is a pro at this. I am very happy watching her performance because she is not only giving an outstanding performance, but you can really see in her face that she is enjoying what she do. And that's what's important. My number two is Venezuela, Valentina Figuera. What I love about Venezuela is that her walk and the way she swayed her hips just goes along with the beat of the music, which made it even more outstanding. Her performance is definitely solid, clean, and almost reaching perfection. From the way she walked with confidence, which is very apparent on her face, to her walk, her smile, I mean, everything about her in this round just made her a real contender, not just for top five, but to be this year's winner. And, my number one choice for the Best in Swimsuit Award is Panama, Carmen Drayton. Hands down, this hands down to this performance to Panama. This is a tough act to follow for sure. Her hair was unique and very lively and it is as lively as she is. She's got a very beautiful face and that body, undoubtedly one of the best in this competition. And her walk, I am glad she is delivering the performance that made me love her from the very start. It was a really, really strong performance and the way she, and the way she carried herself in a very confident way is just unbelievably amazing. So that's it, these are my top 20 favorite best in swimsuit performance of Miss Grand International 2019. So what do you think? Who are your favorites that did not make my list? And who are your favorites that made it in my list? Don't forget to share your thoughts below as well in the comment section. Don't forget to give a thumbs up and share the video as well. And most importantly, don't forget to subscribe because you'll be seeing more of this videos in the future. So for now, thank you very much and have a wonderful day from the Philippines.